Scarecrow. He's one of the all-time, um, he's, he's a Batman villain. He's not hated or loved. He's just, he exi he is there. I found this Scarecrow figure at my local Target. Thought it looked really interesting and deserved a bit of a repaint and customization. Also, before we start, should I, aren't crows meant to be super smart? You're telling me that, that you just put a sack on top of a shirt and they think it's a person? Scarecrows, how do they work? Anyway, let's go with the painting stuff. Alright, so as you can see, I've really only added like the base coats at this point. Starting to kind of think about what detail I'm going to do. If you look carefully at the legs, it's clear that the sculpt has some kind of like shin and thigh armor. Like, you can see the knee pad and the buckles and stuff like that and where the pants sag where it meets the armor. So I think I'm going to add a paint job to reflect that armor. The hands in the original paint job, they were just normal skin color. I don't really like that. I don't think it matches this scary face. Kind of like you're giving away the big secret that it's a person under there when you can see their normal hands. I once did a pirate joker cosplay and one of my biggest regrets is that I didn't wear gloves because I wanted to wear rings and stuff and in the final photos you can see my normal hands just poking out of the jacket. It doesn't match up with the insane face just to have normal human hands. Because when you see the hands you're like oh it's just a person under there. But if you have gloves on you're like oh what's under there? A demon? So let's do the boots and the legs and the hands. Are you painting one too? Yeah. Who are you doing? Yeah. Can I see his face? Yeah. Oh. He's got a lot of green on him. Yeah, because I'm painting. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you got so much paint in your hair. So there's some pretty cool detail around the legs now. You can see he's got the armor and the bootstraps. They added the little gloves and it did a little bit of his ripped shirt there. I did a really good position with his finger good for, for scratching. So I also did a bunch of detail on that jacket. That was actually a really complicated sculpt. If you look carefully, you can see it was actually meant to be two jackets laid over each other. It had a zipper, a bunch of stitches, little pockets and straps and stuff. All that detail was wasted though, because originally it just had this one flat shade of green. But I went over and painted it with a bunch of different shades and kind of added a bit of texture and depth to it. And it looks pretty dope. So what have I got left to do on this boy? Well, you can see that all the same detail that was on that jacket is also in the arms. Got a bunch of straps and a bunch of stitches that I'm gonna actually add some color and detail to. Same goes for the torso. So here I'm gonna add some actual color to that make it stand out. Also at what point is this guy just buy a, just buy a new shirt? The amount of material he's used on stitching up this shirt is the same amount of material you'd use to make a new damn shirt. He can afford spending all his money on poison gas not to buy a new shirt. Also I gotta paint this terrifying little head. Alright, so this boy is looking pretty painted. Now what I'm going to do is, all the parts where he had string or rope wrapped around him, I'm going to replace it with real rope. My assistant here, hold the rope up. Yeah, I got this twine stuff. You're not doing a great job of holding it up. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap that around, so his arms, his waist, and also I'm going to try and recreate that hangman's noose necktie thing, but with real rope. Yeehaw! Did you say yeehaw? It's not a lasso. <laughs> uh, catching chickens. You're gonna go catch some chickens.
Okay, now that this lad is on his little stand and ready to go, I'm gonna give him a final black wash and some weathering, and then I'm gonna do the final reveal with very dramatic music. So that's my complete Scarecrow repaint, custom, whatever. Some other stuff I didn't show on camera, I kept the original eyes, actually masked them off and kept them because they actually looked pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you keep up with my channel, you know recently my house was broken into and my camera got stolen, which was annoying, but I managed to buy another one. Some of that money came from Patreon, so thank you to my Patreon supporters. It didn't cover all of it, that's for sure, but it definitely helped. My next video on this channel will actually be a suggestion from a Patreon supporter. One of my top rewards on Patreon is you basically just get to tell me what to make in a video. I do have some rules you can't just say giant penis sword because that's I've people have asked for that quite a lot anyway thanks for watching bye bye